pictures. In this video I'm just going to show you how you can uh, use the width stamp tool to create some interesting text effects. But first I need to actually create uh, some bit more interesting text than just text which uh, I've got here swatches. I've got obviously that swatch there. Now I can't actually apply that directly but I can go to the appearance palette and what I can do with the appearance palette is add a new fill and I'm just going to add a gradient. I want a gradient there because otherwise you've just got a solid colour and the width stamp's great but it doesn't really, not so effective with just a solid colour. Just It really does help just to, so I can select the width tool, obviously I can just modify the gradient, so I move it over a bit so you can just see got the orange and down to the white. Okay, now I've got the text. What I want now is some lines for the to use as the top object in the width stamp. And I'm just going to use line segment tool. I'm just going to create that. And what I'm going to do now is actually give it stroke of a certain size. Obviously just one point's fine. I'm just going to go to oops, put on that. Just want to now add some points to that. So object path add anchor points. Just want a couple of anchor points there. So object path add anchor points. Path add anchor points. Right. Now I've actually got those. What I want to do now is just going to move those direct selection tools. So I'm just going to just create some slight creases in this path. So just there. Hold the Alt key down. And I'm going to duplicate that path. So I right, just want to go over there. Now go back there again, direct selection, and I want to slightly change those and maybe go down. Okay. Select both, then go to the blend tool. Double click that. Specified steps. I want 50. I'm just going to have 50. Of course, I could go 40, 30, whatever. Just Click there, click there. Right, so I've got all these lines. Now what I want to do now is expand. So I'm going to expand those object. So you've got all those lines there. They're all part of a group, just check. A group, because that's the key thing for make with a top object. So drag that over to the, the text. I just want a bit more, so it covers it a bit better than that. Select that top object and the text. And now you can say make with top object. And now, because of that, you can actually see there's some slight, if it had been a solid color, not a gradient, you wouldn't actually have any variation. And this would have no real effect. So I'm gonna hold the shift down. So it's straight line and you can, now you can hardly make the text out. You can actually just bring the text in more. But you can see there's some slight variation in the text. It's not sort of, and you can modify that. In numbers of ways right and you can also modify the, the maximum width as well and I'm just because all this is doing is just basically being the width tool but it's just a plugin that actually just can create the widths without actually having to manipulate each each path which obviously will be quite a bit of length of time just to actually modify each of those so if I expand this which I'm just going to do just expand It'll take a few seconds just to expand. And you can see, basically, it's there. It's exactly the same as what could be achieved by using the width tool. But this is this plugin has actually created that based on the underlying text. And it's really much, much more quicker than doing that manually. I mean, that would take you quite a bit of time to try and manually map out the X character, obviously depending on the actual brightness of the uh, underlying text as well. hope you found this of interest.